Hi, my name is Wouter Emery and I'm the founder of Airship. And today we're going to look at the real car that we covered in an interview before in one of our previous videos. It's the Lightyear One solar car. So it has five square meters of solar cells to power the car and it's aerodynamically super efficient to provide it with a range of 700 kilometers and more. Let's have a look at how they covered this aerodynamically. At the front we can see that it's a very clean design to start with and it has a very smooth underfloor for, for the air to pass underneath without too much obstruction. If we look at the side of the car, we can see that the car has mirrors instead of real, uh, it has cameras instead of mirrors, which make it much more aerodynamic. If you look at the door panels, we can see that there's no door handles. These are flush and actually just open. Um, if you push it like this, and to open the door, and there's no air resistance in normal driving. What we can also see, um, first of all, the wheels are covered to make them more aerodynamic because these really act like a mixer. And the rear wheels, they even have a fixed cover to reduce further the aerodynamic drag caused by the wheels. Then at the rear of the car, we can really see that the slope of the roof is very gentle and very long um, to add more pressure recovery to the system. And finally, at the rear of the car, we can see that the end of the car is really low um, to reduce the size of the wake that the car leaves behind and try to make the air that is coming off the top of the car um, meet the air that is coming underneath the car as much as possible to reduce the height of the weight behind the car and to reduce aerodynamic drag. So hey Tom, thanks for taking the time for this interview. Yeah, sure, Walter, yeah. You used to be the captain of the solar team. True. And then that was this very specific solar race car yep. and it turned into this production uh, <laughs> car. How, how did that happen? What was the vision? Yeah, so uh, indeed I was the team manager in 2014 and 15 for the solo team in Eindhoven. And we then built uh, Stella Lux, yeah. which is a uh, four-seater uh, family car, as we called it back yeah. then. Yeah. <laughs> and it sits four people and uh, we drove it in Australia. So we won the world championship there in 2015. Yeah. And um, in 2016, uh, the, the company Lightyear was founded. Lightyear is focusing on, uh, on developing a commercial vehicle. So it, that's the Lightyear one we are in now. Yeah. It is actually our prototype from 2019, so it's already a bit of older uh, prototype. Um, but um, this actually vehicle is range is 720 kilometers, so it's a bit less than the solar cars we did, but because it's more commercialized. But the solar part is actually giving you uh, 30 kilometers to 70 kilometers range per day yeah. if you park it outside. So it's really something which uh, solves our charging problem, and that's the the essence uh, basically of what. A solar car is a solar car is um, offering you a, a, a way to drive sustainably uh, and at the same time don't have this bother about where to charge how to charge yeah. uh, how often to charge is the, is the charge point even available yes or no um, uh, does it even work sometimes even the charging station doesn't work so which really gives you sort of grid independence so the sun can cover most of the daily commutes for example <coughs> yep. Yep. Um, but you still have over 700 kilometers of range yeah. Is that an overstatement, just to show what's possible and will it, will it come down in the future? So it's indeed uh, to show it's possible uh, and it's to, uh, to provide convenience in that sense for longer trips. Yeah. So uh, in the future we will have uh, different versions and uh, I can imagine that there will be uh, one with a smaller battery for, uh, for people who don't use, uh, don't use the car for long trips. Uh, but maybe we will do uh, one with a thousand kilometers of range to yeah. just show that it's possible. Indeed. However. Our philosophy is to make the battery, to minimize the battery size in the vehicle uh, because we believe that if you minimize the size of the battery, you can actually there's positive circle because a, a, a smaller battery means less weight, yeah. less weight means uh, 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 higher efficiencies, um, that means even a smaller battery. So it's sort of this uh, development cycle which uh, is a positive feedback loop. Another main parameter is aerodynamics, obviously, yeah. because it's responsible for over half of the energy you consume. Yeah, especially at high speed. speeds. Yeah. Um, how challenging was it to compromise aerodynamics with styling, safety, production cost, and so on? Because the style is quite distinct. True, yeah. So uh, we got some help there from our Belgian friends. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. Louis Vermeers. So Louis Vermeers is uh, he's awesome. But this balance between design and, and, and hardcore aerodynamics engineering yeah, is indeed. really cool to see in these, in these, yeah. uh, in these sessions. And, uh, we have a remarkable engine aerodynamics team at Lightyear. We got some one of the best and uh, most talented uh, engineers from the competitions, yep. and uh, we had from Australia and uh, also from the uh, University of Leuven. 
Uh, so it's really good to have these people uh, in the company who are really hardcore in the aerodynamic engineering. And then combined with the design philosophy of, of Louis Vermeers and his company, you can create, uh, we can create more and more models which will be aesthetically pleasing, yeah. I promise, and doing really well in aerodynamics. Okay, and uh, we see that Lightyear is, is one of the pioneers. There's also Sono coming out Sono, with the Scion, yeah. which is also a really impressive product, yeah. but it's aimed at a much lower budget range. Yeah. That seems to be the main differentiator. Are there other important uh, differences us, you can yeah. mention between the cars? Focus on the Sono integration is really good, yeah. so uh, they, they do a good job there. Um, but it's a different company, it's a different philosophy. Yeah. Uh, we build cars for efficiency, uh, they build cars for solar primarily. Efficiency is about the efficiency of the vehicle itself, yeah. but it's also about resource efficiency. So if you can build fewer cars by going to ride sharing, which which they are also considering, is that something you keep in mind as well? Overall efficiency of the group of cars? Yeah, so ultimately you want to optimize the number of kilometers driven by a vehicle. The incentive of building a vehicle should be that it should be have a maximum lifetime, and that's different from designing a vehicle which should break down after a couple yeah, of years. Exactly. Business um, model is different. Business model is completely different, and that's because if you look at the motors, they can drive a million kilometers in the future to uh, and, and and still work right because they're the wear and tear is so limited yeah. um, um, compared to a standard uh, combustion engine uh, uh, vehicle. So. I think there is a strong case for uh, for building a different business model, more based on uh, subscription and sharing and leasing, um, than merely selling a car. So if people ask me like the selling price, yeah, we focus on a very competitive selling price for the second model. Uh, but it's not about really the selling price; it's about what you pay per month. Yeah, the lifetime cost. Yeah, and also the energy cost, etc. And so energy cost obviously is very low for Lightyear because most of the energy you get from the solar roof. Yeah. Okay, one last question, maybe. Do you think Lightyear inspired Mercedes to build the Vision <laughs> EQXX? It looks very similar. Pictures will tell, right? Yeah, indeed, indeed. I'm not allowed to say more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah. Fantastic. Thanks a lot, Tom, for this interview, yeah, and good luck with uh, the Lightyear journey. Yeah, thank you. Thanks.